Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Immerse. Welcome to the video and welcome to the channel. If you are new, please hit the subscribe button on my channel. It will help me out a lot. And um, as you can tell by the title of this class, this will be the um, best MP5 class on the game. All the pro players are using it. They're using it for scrims and everything. Um, yeah, but before we do get on with this video, I have a little bit of talking to do. If you guys could just please follow me on Twitch, that'd be very, very helpful for me. I'm going to start streaming a lot more, just playing pubs with my friends and maybe even playing tens. But, um, yeah, that's really the only thing I really wanted to ask you guys. Maybe besides that was to like this video and um, hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel. And other than that, let's get on with today's video. So as you can see right here, this is my class setup. I only have it level 57 because I do not use the MP5. I'm a full M4 player. I don't play MP5 that much. But um, even though I don't run MP5, even though I'm not a sub player at all, when I use this class with these attachments and everything like that, it makes it feel like... A good gun that I actually can use it does get kills I like it it's just that I'm not a sub player so but it is a good gun even though I'm an AR player and I'm liking the sub submachine gun it's still a very good gun um lethals tacticals doesn't matter perks your choice secondary your choice um so basically this is gonna be a very short video I'm just gonna quickly go over every single attachment that I do have on this mp5 and tell you why that each one of these attachments are the best for this gun and once you put them together it makes the gun very overpowered you can pause it, couldn't care less. If you're just going to take these attachments and get off my YouTube channel, um, go ahead. But if you actually want to know why these are the best uh, attachments, stay and listen. Um, the FFS Lite. So basically the only difference between the FFS Lite and the FFS Mini is that the FFS Mini makes your recoil control. It's a, it makes it go down for the accuracy and your bullet velocity does go down. But on the FFS Lite, the only thing that goes down is your bullet velocity, which you can deal with on this game because this gun is a submachine gun and it has a very... Um, high rate of fire I think so so that is why the FFS light is better than the FFS mini you don't really need an optic you can run an optic if you want but that's taking away one of your attachments so I don't really run optic I don't think a lot of any a lot of people run optic um the iron side on this gun is very good not very good but it's it's deal it's doable next is the stock the um I used to do so there's two things you can use you can either use the forge tack ultralight which I did use until I unlocked the ftac collapsible basically this is going to take away your aiming stability which is I'm pretty sure your horizontal recoil which I don't think horizontal recoil is that hard to control in this game this basically makes your gun a lot faster you're a lot mobile on this gun although it does say aiming stability and recoil control I didn't even see a difference when I had the forge tack ultralight on and the ftac collapsible it basically makes no difference in the recoil but the ftac collapsible makes your gun a lot faster so that'll be able to more mobility since you are a sub player you want to be fast so for the grip um i would do stiple to rubberize i'd pick stiple just because it's the best one um i'm basically worrying about aim down sight speed right here your aiming stability it says it's a con but it doesn't really do anything to your aiming stability i don't think the recoil control on this gun is very easy to control with the set of attachments that you do have on here if you're running an mp5 and you do not have 10 millimeter ammo you're a fucking retard please get off the game don't even use the mp5 if you're not going to use 10 millimeter um, ammo just because it basically puts more damage to the bullets so it's less bullets that you have to put into someone to kill them that's basically self-explanatory so for the underbarrel i have a lot of conversations about this with my friends about which one's the best for ars and stuff like that i would go operator ranger or merc but since this is a submachine gun i would either go tactical or commando commando seems like it's the best for me tactical is pretty good also but it just puts down your movement speed which you are a sub player but I mean, if you don't really care about speed that much, even though you're running a sub, I would put tactical foregrip on. So basically, commando is better than tactical just because tactical, you do get aiming stability and movement speed. And commando, you have recoil stability with it. So commando is the best attachment for that. So basically, that is it for the MP5 class. If you did like this video, make sure you do hit the like button on this video. Um, also, please subscribe to the channel. And even if you're watching right now, I'm just going to end the video like this because no one's probably watching right now. So.